Hi everyone, welcome to Brick Arena and welcome to the start of another working week. Um, a bit of a funny one this week because I've uh, totally screwed up this morning and forgotten completely to record uh, the weekend's orders. Now, as it happens, um, there weren't an awful lot of orders this weekend. Um, there were just, uh, let me just have a look here, the nine orders on uh, Bricklink. Uh, the highest lot count on there was 66 lots. So all uh, below that, uh, there was nothing above 10, um, uh, 10 lots uh, with regards to all of the other orders on Bricklink. On um, Brick Owl, we had seven orders and on eBay, just one, which was a... Um, a sealed set which was a Nexo Knights one uh, which sold for about £25 or so um, no, uh, no, I'm not feeling 100% today just got a, um, a bit of a sore throat and just feeling a bit a bit uh, uh, out of sorts and I think that's probably why I've, I've just sort of messed up this morning with the recording a um, <clears throat> couple of things to touch on um it's going to be a shorter week uh this week uh for doing the the vlogging anyway because um tomorrow is my wife's 60th birthday um so we'll be uh doing a couple of things for that possibly and then we've got family uh visiting later in the week so i'm probably going to lose a, a day and a half uh, out of this week um, I did want to touch on the uh, changes to Royal Mail and their depot uh, customer service point opening hours, which are changing. And um, for a small depot, um, which is the case with mine, um, they're now changing their opening hours to open just two hours a day between eight in the morning and, and ten. And that's really going to screw me up in terms of how I deliver uh, my orders. I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm going to do about that. Um, this comes in on the 10th of July, so I've got another week to think about it. Now I can take all of my post, um, and I have an online business account uh, for those who don't know, uh, but I can take it uh, with my manifest and take it to a post office at the end of the day. The only thing for me is that um, <clears throat> the um, local post office is twice the distance of the depot that i was dropping at parking's pretty horrendous and um it it's just going to be a little more awkward to take things so i'm not sure whether to go that route and go to the post office which means i can post at any uh time later in the day or whether i'm going to change my posting to be next day postage so that i can uh, just hold everything over and take it the next morning between 8 and 10. Um, or even whether to get rid of my uh, Royal Mail business account altogether and go with the uh, standard click and drop method um, whereby I can then drop it in any post box. Now, of course, you don't get proof of postage uh, with those, but to be honest, I never claim from Royal Mail anyway, so I don't ever really need the uh, proof of postage. So I, I might um, just see how that goes. Uh, I need to make a decision one way or another um, throughout uh, this week. Now, um, I am. Um, it's ten, no, eleven o'clock uh, in the morning on on Monday. Uh, I'm gonna uh, head off to the post office shortly, and then I'm gonna carry on with uploading uh, more used stock and um, we'll see how we can uh, add add to the stock it's a real concern to be honest uh, the rate of uh, stock I'm being able to get added to the store um, doing the used uh, is very time consuming and I'm just finding it um, a little slow to get uploaded and of course the less you've got uploaded, then the, le the less sales you're attracting, etc. Um, so I need to uh, look at how I can increase that. I also want to look at uh, potentially um, getting more new sets in and, uh, and adding to the store through that route as well. Still lots to go in the container, of course. Um, so um, there's plenty there, but it's, it's mostly 
used bulk and I've even thought of selling off some of the used bulk um, just to get a little bit of a, a cash injection uh, to then start spending elsewhere but I know from other people who've done that mo most people have uh, typically regretted uh, selling any used bulk that they've got so um, lots and lots to think about uh, this week anyway I'm going to go and get cracking uh, get to the post office and get some more uh, stuff uploaded it's um, just after lunch and I've managed to pick up a, a couple of uh, small orders. We've got one here that uh, is almost exclusively torsos from various uh, football players in various numbers. And then another order here for a few small parts and a Hedwig uh, owl in there. Uh, next up for me is going to be uh, getting back to these uh, slopes uh, that I did sort into another category so we've got some uh two by slopes to uh, get sorted out here and then a few other uh, bits and, and pieces as well um well i said earlier in the video that i've got uh, uh visitors come in uh in the week so i want to try and get uh, some of these pots that are on my desk all cleared away and uh, sorted so i'm probably going to focus on some of those um, but I also want to spend some time and get back to uh, the heads, the massive amount of heads that I need to get listed because I think there's some good value in there as well. And also accessories. I've got so many accessories to sort. It's unbelievable. Um, so uh, that's the plan anyway. Uh, we'll see what we can get done. It's Tuesday the 4th of July and I just want to give a shout out to all of our American uh, subscribers and viewers and uh, wish you all a happy 4th of July. And it's always a, a time for celebration in our house because it's my wife's birthday as well. Um, so small, slow start to today though with the three orders. Um, very quiet at the moment and I think that's just down to, um, you know, summer holidays and sunshine and things like that. Um, though I must admit, um, you know, not having uploaded so much lately, I think that's probably having an impact as well. A um, couple of parts orders and a couple of minifigures going out. We've got a, a Wonder Woman going out and a Mr. Miracle uh, minifigure. A uh, couple more orders there that came in yesterday that didn't make the post. So we'll get those all packed up and ready for today's post. Uh, not sure how much work I'll be doing today um with the other things going on in the house and family visiting um you know just to to wish my wife a happy birthday etc um so i'll get up uploaded what i can uh, i need to have a i'll start having a bit of a tidy round in the next day at least i'm not sure whether that'll happen today probably not because i'm still feeling a little bit under the weather um but um, we'll see what we can get done. We we'll keep plowing on and uh, keep adding what we can to the store. It's been a little bit of a stop start morning with uh, various uh, people coming around to see uh, my wife to wish her a happy birthday. And um, in between that, I've been continuing with the loading of the various uh, slopes and things that I've been sorting over the last few days. And then, um, over the late morning lunch period, we've had uh, a few more orders in. Still got to get the, the rest packed up for today. We've got a wall -E tile going out here. This one uh, was a recent find in the bulk tub that I sorted through. This one sold for four pounds. Um, remember the other tile that went with this was um, listed at about 25 pounds. Um, this um, is 118 of these white inverted slopes going out. A couple more parts orders here and then over here another parts order and then we've got this uh, little uh, figure going out and a uh, nozzle uh, with its uh, appropriate string etc. Now I just want to mention this one just briefly because um, this wasn't an amazing um, value but I was uh, sorting through torsos and things recently and came across uh, this, he was just missing the cap. And I wondered, well, shall I just list him as a town figure? 
and normally with town figures i wouldn't i'd normally just put the parts in and let the parts go but this one was slightly different with this uh, race team uh torso and listed it and it's sold so just mention it because a little bit surprised in a way at, at the town figures um selling maybe as well as they do and i wonder whether to do that with some more of them even um but often it's i, I certainly wouldn't go to much effort making them up um but if they're if they're easy to do then why not and if you've got a bunch of you know uh torsos left uh you know that uh they're all sort of uh, duplicate torsos and can easily make up a, a bunch of figures then uh, maybe that's the way to go next up for me is to uh, start and sort through more of these heads so i pull out my uh, tub and i've got some of them uh, already sorted to some degree so here we've got a bag of um, uh, flesh uh, heads but inside there We've already got sorted uh, some typical Star Wars heads, etc. So a lot of this shouldn't take so long uh, to do, at least a chunk of it. Um, now, I do wish I had one of these, which I saw from a, a friend of mine who's using an IKEA uh, drainer um, to sort the heads on, which I thought is really good. I've used various methods myself in the past with... Um, using uh, a self-built thing from uh, one by one bricks um which was easy to lay them on and i've seen other people um create sort of um 3d printed trays that they list them uh, on as well or that they lay them on as well rather um uh, and i don't have any of those uh to hand at the moment so it's going to be a case of just sorting through uh putting them into tubs and things like that um of course now it's much easier to identify the parts with um um brick uh store now that it's got the um the inbuilt um uh brick ignize with the uh camera uh usage it's it's just so so quick to sort these things so anyway i'm gonna get started and uh see what i can get done and added to the store so I've spent about an hour now um, looking at the various heads, um, at least the light nugget heads that I had. And I've just um, sorted them here by price just to get an indication of which ones are worth the most value. And then we've got this one here at the top, which is, according to this, worth £4.48. But... If we go and have a look at the current price guide, and we're focused on the UK because I'm looking at um, the local currency, or at least I've split um, items by currency, so I'm looking at GBP at the moment. But the only ones for sale in the UK are over £8 each. Um, that's more than double what uh, Brickstore is telling me the global average is. Um, so whether that's just people trying it on a lot in the uk um the most expensive one to have sold was five pounds 99 and yet people have jumped up to eight pounds 25 i assume they came in saw one had sold at six pounds in july and then listed theirs you know significantly above thinking that um you know that's you know a good uh a good markup over the other one if because of um supply and demand if there was only one there eight pound odd that'd be a reasonable price so the whole point of me saying all this is that when you get to minifig uh parts it's important i think at least to spend the time and price them individually because um setting them at the average price can just very very quickly um you know uh hurt hurt you really you know because um you could be setting them way below what um the average actually is at the moment so I, i'm gonna do some more of this uh tomorrow um one thing um i will not for an hour's time um i've got a value of 145 pounds at least here at the moment now that compared to doing the basic parts of 
one by plates, one by bricks, etc. The the return on the value is just incredible when you're doing these um, parts, you know, in comparison. And I, and I suspect these will be quick sellers and will be easy to pick. So it's a win all round doing uh, these parts. Um, anyway, as I say, I'll um, I'll press on with this tomorrow. I'll let you know how I'm getting on and give you an update on uh, what we've got listed and what the value is. It's Wednesday the 5th of July and I'm continuing on with the uh, listing of more minifig heads. And um, just come across uh, one here that uh, is worth... Um, it's showing at five pound sixty on a uh, brick store, um, and it uh, is for a uh, Doc Ock uh, minifig, and then also got uh, another one here which is coming up at two pound fifty, which is one that's used on various um, Lord of the Rings figures, etc. Um, now, um, that isn't all I've listed this morning. You know, I've been continuing on with the list I've got here. I'm up to about £170 worth of uh, minifig heads in 64 lots. Uh, so that's not too bad at all. Um, in terms of orders this morning, um, we've had, I think, six orders. Um, various... Um, Parts and minifigs and, and bits and bobs. Uh, a nice little order here for some uh, bushes in a couple of different sizes, a couple of collectible minifigs, etc. Um, we've got these shock absorbers going out, an order going out to Canada there, which is, um, to be fair, one of the um, uh, fewer international orders that I've been getting recently. I used to get uh, quite a few international orders and they really seem to have uh slowed up a little bit uh, more parts orders and then on ebay we've got a um vulture uh minifig complete with the wings etc which sold for 20 pounds so um those will be getting packed up and uh sent out today now we've got family coming midday tomorrow so i need to do a little bit of tidying up still tons and tons of heads to get through and obviously i won't be getting through all of those today but i'm going to continue with that also got a, a consultancy call um in about two hours which is a follow-up to the one that i had with the guy from um uh, i think it was new zealand or australia and he's made quite a bit of progress i think uh, since we last met so i'm going to be doing another review of his uh stores on Brick Owl and Bricklink and um, uh, see how it's looking at the moment. So lots to do today and uh, best get cracking. I just finished my consulting call with an Australian seller. Um, I had a previous call with him three weeks ago and we said we'd do a follow-up and um, it's a really interesting conversation because um, well, we covered uh, a review of his uh, Bricklink and, and Brick Owl stores and then we sort of uh, chewed the fat for 20, 30 minutes about selling Lego in general. And he has some uh, really good insights and uh, unique perspectives, I think, on uh, how he's running his business. So really interesting to touch base with him. Um, now, um, following that, we've got a couple more uh, orders here. One on eBay for a uh, Wonder Woman uh, dimension set going out and then... A uh, little order here for some minifig parts and a superheroes comic that came out of one of the uh, older sets. Now, I'm going to spend an hour or so just trying to tidy up a bit. Um, we've got uh, family coming over uh, for the next few days. So, as usual, my desk is in a terrible mess with various pots of things around and endless uh, numbers of um, used bags. Um, and... Uh, just gonna spend a little bit of time tidying up and uh, making a place like all ship shape for them arriving tomorrow. I've just uploaded the latest batch of minifig heads and uh, ended up with 92 lots and about 236 pounds worth. 
Um, decided to just get what I've got uh, uploaded now uh, so that I can spend some time cleaning up the room. And um, I've got a bit of a habit of, of leaving these files um, till too late in the day to get priced up and then I end up not listing them. And I really wanted to get these listed to try and uh, see if we can move some of them. Um, we ended up adding 90 lots from the 92 to the store. So um, that's not a bad ratio at all. Um, adding um, almost 100% of the items. So um, plays with that. I'm going to get back to doing more of the heads. I think w as soon as I can when I find some, some time. Maybe in the morning. Um, if not it's probably going to be next week. Because of family visiting and things. Um, but uh I'm glad uh, to get that done. Uh, next job for me is going to dash off to the post office and then get back to the cleaning up the room. It's Thursday the 6th of July and uh, we had a little bit of a tidy up and things are looking uh, much cleaner apart from this uh, box that I've just dumped on the desk. Uh, we managed to get um, a lot of stuff put away and making things a lot tidier and uh, my desk is looking all ship shape again and um it's nice to have a bit of uh space and see it all nice and tidy um now we've got uh, five orders uh today um we've got an order here for a minifig head going out they did ask for some figures as well but um unfortunately i had a problem with those and i suspect that i double listed them on ebay and they all sold through ebay so i apologize uh, for those not being available and I refunded the customer for those uh, which he was fine with um, and uh, he's a watcher of the channel actually and um, was was very decent about it all um, here we've got the um, uh, power functions battery box I listed uh, last week and then we've got a few parts orders going out um, this one is just a shield going out for £2.50 and couple of other um, bits and bobs to go as well now um, we have just got uh, a delivery and I haven't been buying very much uh, new stuff as you all know I've been restricting myself uh, to the use of uh, stuff but I picked up um, five of these mainly for the minifigs and I'm just gonna uh, try these on uh, eBay. I know there's plenty on there already um, So we'll add a bit of competition uh, for those and obviously the parts will get sorted and get into the store as well It's a particularly good set this one. I think and this uh, happens occasionally with the 4 plus stuff is um, You know, you've got a nice selection of six minifigs in in one box of the Disney stuff is is really good and then you've got some nice, unique, sort of printed uh, tiles and things in here. Um, uh, I was originally offered a bunch of these. Um, I, I think there was 20 of them. I can't remember now. Um, um, where they'd pulled the path, the figures out, and we're going to sell the parts. And for whatever reason, that fell through. Um, I think they said that they didn't get the the items in in the end um so um uh, were unable to sell them to me so i'm going to get those listed on uh, ebay shortly and then we'll get the uh the parts uh, added to the store um now with families just arrived uh so from here on in um i've got the rest of the afternoon i'm going to do some work i'll get some more stuff added to the store tomorrow other than doing orders and getting them shipped, I'm not going to be doing very much at all uh, tomorrow. Um, then we'll get back to normal next week. It's Friday, July the 7th, and um, I'm going to be taking it a little bit easy this morning because um, I'm just going to be picking today's orders, getting them out the door, and then I'm heading off uh, for a day out and about with uh, some uh, family members and um looking forward to a day off to be honest um not often that I, I take time out and um this is one of the benefits of having uh, a job like this and running this uh, as as a, a business is being your own boss and being able to uh, be flexible with your time um so uh, thankfully there's only um 
seven orders today on uh, uh, Bricklink and Brickal. So we've got six here on uh, Bricklink, uh, highest lot count 45. And then on um, Brick Owl, we've just got the one uh, small order on there as well. So I've already picked them because uh, I want to be off and out, as I say. Um, we'll have a quick look. Um, we've got um, uh, a couple of uh, minifig parts uh, going out there. Um, somebody's bought me out of all of the light aqua um, flowers uh, that I've got. Um, a little uh, vulture minifig and a few minifig parts going out there. Uh, a parts order here, but um, a number of these are tiles and things that are for the um, Super Mario uh, sets. And uh, this is a, a customer that, uh, you know, is, is a repeat customer, has been back several times and often buy these um, Super Mario uh, parts. Um, uh, more minifig parts, a little um, Harry Potter minifig going out and then another uh, small parts order there. So I'm just gonna get these packed up, gonna drop them at the post office and then anything that comes in through the day to day uh, while I'm out and about will probably get posted on Saturday morning. I don't normally post uh, Saturday mornings, but um, because I'm gonna be out today, I'll make an exception uh, this week. And then I've got a bit of a problem with post next week, still not 100% sure what I'm gonna do because on Monday, or starting on Monday, the post office is only, or the post depot, sorry to clarify, is only going to be open 8 till 10 each morning, um, which is a real pain, particularly on a Monday when you've got um, other orders um, that have been coming in over the weekend and being ready f before 10 o'clock on a Monday is just impossible. I've struggled, um, as many of you will know, you'll, you'll have heard me mention, um, I've struggled for a good while uh, hitting the 12 o'clock deadline. Now they've reduced that is uh, going to be absolutely impossible. Um, these I did get listed on eBay last night. Um, did them late on just before I went to bed and just got the mini figures um, added to eBay. So I'll get these parted out. Um, it'll be the, the next job. Um, I might even see if I've got a possibility of getting someone to do them for me today while I'm out and about. And um, that would enable me to get them added to the store uh, either over the weekend or early next week. It's Saturday morning and I'm doing a few orders uh, today that I didn't manage to get done because I took most of yesterday off. Um, and we're gonna do the same today. We're heading off to um, a seaside town and um, I'm gonna be uh, getting these in the post just to make sure people aren't waiting too long for the orders. Um, so we've got um, an order for lots of um, uh, uh, medium uh, Azure there, and uh, these were only listed sort of last week or so, these uh, leaf elements, so good to see those moving. Some of the heads that I've listed have uh, been going out uh, the door as well. Uh, in both this order and this one so as always shows that when you're listing things it gets them moving um, little parts order there and a little video figure and some other minifigure uh, bits and pieces going out with this one um, so I'm not going to be doing anything else today other than as I say heading off to uh, the, the beach uh, I'm not sure that we'll spend much time on the beach but looking around the seaside town etc and um, just generally having a, a good day out um, I have got one other thing that I'm sorting out for a customer who um, I mistakenly only sent one of these uh, rockers to previously so sending them out uh, they're missing uh, minifig as well uh, mistakes do happen and it's uh, how you sort them out that, that counts uh, so um, just try and deal with uh, customer service issues as quickly as possible and everything should be good.